Way 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I have to admit, and he had frost around his little snout yeah. sticking above. Do you see that? I did mm -hmm. see that. I, I thought he was cute. I tell you what's not cute is all this rain. No, it is not. No, it's not. So bust out your rain boots, bust out your umbrella. There's rain here and there's plenty more on the way. Yep. Take a look. We're not the only ones in the United States that are seeing rain. This is the same system that we've been tracking since before it made its way to Louisiana. That was at about 5 o'clock this morning. Now it's well crossed into the Mississippi River and knocking on the door right here at home of Alabama. Now, of course, there are some storms with this system, and more of those will make their way into the Tennessee Valley. However, at the moment, 1119 on 31 Triple Doppler, and the vast majority of what we're seeing is just rain. A few spots of thunderstorms in Malton and and then south of Marion and Winston counties. However, the rest of us just see in that good old fashioned rain, but plenty more is expected to come. Take a look right now at the Way 31 Sky Chem Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Any of that fog we had this morning is gone for most of us. Some of our more fog prone areas on mountains, you could be still seeing some fog, but the rest of us, it's just cloud cover, rain and gusty wind that's in the forecast today. Those clouds not going anywhere, but you can see how quickly they're moving. Take a look. As we head through the rest of the morning, we're going to see a couple things happen. Some convection from our south is going to rise north, and then we're going to have that front that we've been monitoring all day push east. These two things are going to join, and they're going to bring scattered showers and storms into the region. Now, I want to let you know this cold front that we're tracking is about two hours delayed from where it was when we spoke this morning. The mighty Mississippi River kind of took a little bit of energy out of its steamroll. So instead of hitting the shoals at noon, it's now hitting at 2 p.m. That pushes its timeline to east of the corridor to about 430 when it's getting out of the way. So our end result, not too different as far as timing goes, but in the beginning, we won't see those strong, strong showers in the shoals until about two later after well, two hours, excuse me, after what we talked about earlier today. So again, the heaviest part of that rain pushes through at about 430, but that's the heaviest part of the rain and storms. Not all of the rain and storms will still keep rain in some isolated showers well through the evening and even into to the wee hours of the morning first thing on Friday. So prep for a rain day. It's here. Your heaviest of that rain should be gone by the time you get home from work, but we won't be dry by any stretch for a while. Our high temperature today, 66 degrees, but as we've been saying all day, still feeling gloomy, still feeling cloudy, and as a result, chilly. So bring your jacket with you. Now Friday we are dry, cloudy, but dry with the temperature sitting in the low 60s. Saturday we have morning and afternoon thunderstorms that do have the threat of becoming severe. And then Sunday, take a look, we're colder, we're cloudy, and we're dry. We dropped from a high temperature on Saturday of 64 to a high temperature of, on Sunday of just 47. So a lot of change there in just 24 hours' time. We'll start to see rain very first thing on Saturday morning when you wake up at 630. It continues to move east and strengthen as we head through the rest of the morning. And then by lunchtime, we're just talking about some scattered drizzles. So if you need to be outside this weekend, the best time to do that after lunch on Saturday or at any point on Sunday. Now, neither one will be sunny and Saturday certainly will be warmer, but in the morning and afternoon, we are tracking that threat for gusty wind and we are in a level one out of five risk for severe weather. So between today's rain and storms and those coming on Saturday, there's a lot to get to, but next week we're looking at plenty of sunshine and temperatures right about average for this time of year. Mm. Cannot wait. I know. I am so looking forward yep. to this. Sunshine, <laughs> bring it on. The sun will come out <laughs> next Tuesday. Next, next week. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Grace. you. <laughs>